Hi everyone, welcome to Max Plus TV channel. In today's video, I'm going to share the trending celebrities new regarding some of our most famous known Hollywood stars. So now let's dive straight to today's topic. $353 million Will Smith Movies custom built Audi Osk concept car the company refuses to sell even today. iRobot, starring Will Smith, had a fascinating and imaginative futuristic world. The world wasn't as bleak and futuristic as the one in Blade Runner, starring Harrison Ford. Instead, it was a vastly better world, albeit one that contained menacing generic rogue robots. But one thing about this amazing movie that every auto enthusiast noticed was the futuristic driving. This futuristic world was fantastic and a wonderful example of both artistic license and a glimpse into the future. This 2004 film, which starred Will Smith and James Cromwell, among other Alisters, took place in the year 2035. Possibly the most astounding element is that we are currently in the year 2023, which means 19 years after the movie's original release. On July 16, 2004, the movie was made available in the United States. With a $120 million production budget, the movie made around $353 at the box office and received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the acting and visual effects. So let's get on this adventurous futuristic ride. I wanted to be a superhero. Will Smith was frustrated with Hollywood for offering his favorite roles to Tom Cruise, made it his life's aim to beat $600 million star. Will Smith experienced the futuristic ride in this concept car in the blockbuster science fiction film I, Robot. It was created especially for this 2004 movie and is known as the Audi Osk concept car. Although May 2004 seemed like a very long time ago. Audi was actually well ahead of its time with this one. In the 2035 setting of the film, Smith's character explores the danger that robots pose to humanity. The Audi Osk was created to be a police vehicle of the future, and Audi hit the mark because it almost has the appearance of a spaceship. Its butterfly doors are among the coolest aspects of the vehicle. The doors have a completely unique appearance because Audi made them rear hinged. According to American market research, the Audi Osk, which was developed especially for the film, significantly raised brand perception scores. The wheels have a sphere-like appearance. This is due to the fact that the car in the movie actually travels on spheres rather than tires thanks to CGI. Of course, because of this, it can move in all directions in addition to forward and backward. The car actually has tires that are covered by caps. Also, this vehicle is intended to represent a high-tech car in a 2035 Chicago cityscape. Amazing! $150 million Will Smith film titled Tonight He Comes showed him killing women with superhuman orgasm. What's more exciting about this future Audi? Audi's logo is prominently displayed throughout the film on both the front of the car and the seats. Although it's unclear if either the writers or the director were Audi enthusiasts, the 2004 movie, I, Robot featured an Audi Osk. At least now we are aware that some future robotic cars made by Audi are certainly going to make people sick. The interior of the concept car has a clean, uncluttered look, thanks to Audi. But if you look closely, you can find a number of toggles that resemble those on a fighter jet control panel. And they are actually visible when the center console is opened, along with the on or off switch. The steering wheel uses spheres instead of conventional ones, which truly enhances the aircraft theme even more. In the movie, when not in use, the steering wheel would also fold into the dashboard. This will bring you back to reality if you forgot that this was a movie car, indeed. More importantly, it created the foundation for the Audi R8. Audi built the mid-engine sports coupe for the film in 2004, and two years later unveiled the Audi R8, one of its best-selling models. So, it's difficult to deny that the two have a similar design language when you compare them. The Audi Osk was developed by Audi AG, a division of Audi that specializes in designing, engineering, and marketing luxury vehicles. It was actually developed by Julian Honig, a senior exterior designer at Audi AG. It makes sense why it appeared both futuristic and somewhat realistic at the same time. Tom Cruise saved Will Smith's $585 million movie that's finally getting a sequel. I sent him the script. He sent me back four hours of notes. Why is the Audi Osk still not available for sale? It's not the novelty mouse your father was using in 2001. The Audi Osk concept car was developed for the science fiction film I, Robot, starring Will Smith in 2004. It's been a while since the film came out. We clearly recall that the world of I, Robot was set in 2035, which, unnervingly, is closer to the present day than it was when the movie was released. 
The OSC concept won't be implemented into production for another 12 years, but we fear that this vision of the future might already be greatly outpaced till then. Its successor was actually driven by the King Richard actor in the 2019 movie, Spies in Disguise. In that 2019 released animated movie, he provided the voice of dapper super spy, Lance Sterling, who sped around in an Audi Oski Tron built especially for the production. Who knows Smith might use the car again in yet another movie before the company actually begins its sale. Tom Cruise is either a cyborg or there are six of him, Will Smith admitted he can't beat Tom Cruise after miserable attempt at outworking the action star. Alright so that's the end of today's news thank you for watching and please if today is your first time watching kindly subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.